Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and White Sox fans. I got another trade for you for the White Sox. Unbelievable. I did not think, I thought yesterday, with, ye with yesterday's video, go check it out, when the White Sox acquired Tapera and Cesar Hernandez, I thought they were done. Knowing the White Sox history, I figured, okay, that's it. They think they're done, and they're done trading. No, they weren't. They clearly were not. This one, again, was brought to my attention by my man Chris Dufour in Williams, Massachusetts, before I even saw it anywhere, and then I went and I verified it. But, uh, yeah. We have gone out and we have again gotten a reliever from the Crosstown Cubs. We already got to Para, you'll recall, but now we got Craig Kimbrell. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Now, of course, Craig Kimbrell is at least slightly better than Ryan Tapera. So he did cost a little bit more. He was a bit pricey. Uh, we had to give up Nick Madrigal, who's on the injured list for the rest of the season. And he will now be playing across town with the Cubs. And Cody Hoyer, who is uh, this year 4-1 and one with a 5-12 earned run average and a 142 whip. And oh, by the way, Madrigal is hitting th was hitting 305 with a 349 on base percentage and a 774 OPS. Madrigal's 24, Hoyer is 25. But Kimbrel is having an amazing year. He's 33 years old. But he's 2-3 and three this year with an 049 earned run average and an 071 whip. And that's in 36 and two-thirds innings. So now we're going to have a bullpen that is going to have, potentially, our starters only need to go six innings. Because in the seventh, we can bring in Ryan Tapera. In the 8th, we can bring in Kimbrel, and then we can bring in, again, as I said in the previous video, we can bring in Hendricks to slam the door, and slam the door in other teams' faces. So we need to only get, well, of course, that's assuming, I mean, you can't do that every single game with all three of those guys, but, and then, and that brings up a good point, there will be games maybe that Hendricks can't close, but Kimbrel can close if he wasn't used the day before, but Hendricks was. You know? You see what I'm saying? So what all of this means, bottom line, is we're going to the World Series! Alright, maybe not. I mean, maybe. But let's not say we were punching our ticket. We still have to see how these guys interact with the rest of the team, and we do still need to beat good teams consistently. But I think the White Sox have made some giant strides in the direction of being able to consistently beat good teams now. We should be able to do that. Because before, see before, there was a lot of games that we could have won that we lost late because the only really good pitcher in the bullpen was Hendricks. I don't want to say the only really good pitcher, but he's the, Hendricks was the guy that would come in, no nonsense, throw, you know, put pitches over the plate and say, hit it. I dare you to hit it. He's the only one that did that. The other guys nibbled the corners, nibbled the corners, nibbled the corners. Ball four. Ball eight. Low and Vaughn has walked the bases loaded on 12 straight pitches. And they ended up walking too many people and getting into too much trouble that way. But Kimbrel is like, he's like Hendricks 
he'll come in and he will also do that. He'll just throw it over the plate and he'll say, hit it, I dare you to hit it. And to para, I don't know what he does, but hopefully he doesn't nibble the corners as much as the other guys that we have do. And Hoyer was one of those. I mean, that's why Hoyer has a 5'12 earned run average, because he just nibbled the corners, nibbled the corners, nibbled the corners. So, um, so now the Cubs have Hoyer and Madrigal. And we have Kimbrell. So I like our chances, I think, now. I think we, we got exactly what, I, what we needed if you remember when I said going into the trading season, going into the trade, you know, deadline, that we needed ideally to get two good shutdown relievers. That was number one on the list. Two good shutdown relievers. We did that. And then also maybe a second baseman. And we did that. We've got Cesar Hernandez. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're winning the division. There's no doubt. We're winning the division, and then we'll see how we do in the playoffs. And uh, and the test is going to be leading up to the playoffs when we play good teams. Can we beat them more consistently now? So what do you guys think of the trade? I love it. Um, leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Again, if you're cruising around and you just happen to stumble onto this video, go watch some of my other videos and subscribe to the channel doesn't cost you a cent and uh you know and even if you only watch videos every now and then who cares just still subscribe i mean that's what i'm saying so anyway that is going to be it for me sportsman z bob zolke loving it white Sox going to the world series but i'm signing off